What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Wisdom Wisdom and Coach's Corner. Today, we're talking about a widely misunderstood concept of mortgage insurance. What is mortgage insurance? Mortgage insurance is obtained by the lender to protect the mortgage lender in the event of the borrower defaulting on their mortgage loan obligation, okay? It's very important. It's not about you. It's about protecting the lender. Here's what you should know. Mortgage insurance requirements can vary by mortgage loan program and the lender, okay? The lender applies for and arranges the mortgage insurance for the loan. Mortgage insurance is paid for by the borrower, okay? There are several ways that mortgage insurance can be paid for, okay? Your loan officer, can discuss the mortgage insurance options available to you so that your loan can be structured to accommodate your financial needs. For instance, mortgage insurance can be paid monthly, upfront, or financed, depending on your circumstances and chosen loan program. It is very important that you discuss these options with your lender, okay? There are laws that allow you to eliminate mortgage insurance as you pay down your mortgage. The lender can discuss these in detail with you when you apply. So if you know you're going to need mortgage insurance, we can talk about when you can get rid of it, how to get rid of it, and all that good stuff. Mortgage insurance should not be confused with homeowner's insurance, folks. It's two different things. Homeowner's insurance protects your property. Mortgage insurance protects the lender in the event that you default. That is very important. So with all of this said, how do you get rid of mortgage insurance? Okay, understanding the loan to value, that's your path to removing mortgage insurance. Well, one of them, let's be specific. And it depends on the type of loan you have and its mortgage insurance requirement. Your loan to value ratio basically means how much equity do you have in your home? That's what loan to value is. How much your loan is versus the value you have, okay? Your loan to value is calculated by dividing your loan balance by the original value of your property and multiplying that by 100. So if you put 10% down on a $200,000 home, your initial loan balance would be 180 grand, okay? And your loan to value would be 90%. The more payments you make, the lower your loan to value will be over time, right? That's pretty simple, okay? Now, there are several types of mortgage insurance. In a conventional loan, we call it PMI, or private mortgage insurance, for conventional loans, all right? It's very simple, okay? Now, when you have government loans, it's a little different. Like, you've heard of FHA loans, okay? Federal Housing Authority. PMI is required on your loan if your LTV is above 80%, meaning your down payment was less than 20%. Private mortgage insurance cancels automatically when you pay enough of your loan that your loan to value reaches 78%, okay? So, if you're maybe at the midpoint of your loan as well, like 15 years and a 30-year fix, that'll probably just drop off naturally, okay? Now, private mortgage insurance can also be canceled slightly earlier at 80% loan to value upon your request. Like you say, hey, I'd like to refinance. You know, I think I've met the criteria, I think I've got enough equity, I don't wanna be paying all this mortgage insurance. So you call someone like me, we refinance, you get rid of that mortgage insurance. FHA loans or mortgage insurance premium on the other hand, for FHA loans, that is different. That is required for all borrowers regardless of their loan to value. It's just a protection for the government. So if your loan to value was greater than 90% when you took out a home, meaning you put less than 10% down, you'll have to pay mortgage insurance premium for the entire life of the loan. Now, if your loan was, your LTV or loan to value was less than 90%, all right, or even um, if you put more than 20% down, you're still required to pay FHA mortgage insurance premium for at least 11 years of the life of the loan, whichever happens first. So keep that in mind. So you guys are probably wondering, well, how do I stop paying mortgage insurance other than the ways I've already talked about? If you have an FHA loan, because there's no option to cancel FHA mortgage insurance premium, it is likely that your best option is to switch to a conventional loan, a refinance, okay? Refinance from government to a conventional loan, okay? You're able to do this once your LTV ratios are lower. Maybe you've improved your credit score. There are a variety of ways to get into a conventional loan out there, including affordable loans like Home Ready. You can do private, I'm sorry, you can private message me and we can talk about switching it, okay? 
By switching into a conventional loan, you'll be able to cancel your mortgage insurance when you reach by 80%, okay? So if your loan to value is already at that point where it's below 80%, you won't have to pay for it at all. Another potential benefit is that private mortgage insurance rates are generally cheaper than FHA rates with borrowers with good credit. So if you have to have it, let's get a conventional loan if you got better credit, okay? Now, if you have lender paid mortgage insurance, while some loans advertise lender paid mortgage insurance, guess what, folks? The reality is you're still paying for it. It's just woke woven into your payment or woven, however you want to say that, okay? So you're, you're not escaping it. One way or another, you're paying that mortgage insurance back. So there are lots of different ways we can skin this cat. But the bottom line is mortgage insurance is there to protect the lender and not you, okay? We talked about homeowners. That protects uh, your property in case of some natural disaster. It gets destroyed. It's going to pay back the value of the home at the time. Okay, so couple things remember if you have a government loan you're going to have mortgage insurance premium um, if you have better credit and you need to put less than 20 percent down let's look at a conventional loan so you can figure this out easier if you like learning more about this mortgage project make sure you subscribe to my channel by kicking the little bell right there and you can be informed whenever i make a new video until next time guys let's stay informed so we can stay ahead this is coach clarence and this is wisdom wednesday